Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first virtual edition of the AEDA tutorial. My name is Marnik, and I'm a postdoc at EPFL. And in this presentation, I'll give you a brief overview of the event. I'll first start by giving some statistics on you, the participants. Next, I'll move towards the um, tutorial format and schedule and discuss some of the details there. And I'll give you some practical information that you need in order to, um, of course, work your way through the hands-on sessions. And finally, I'll discuss the team and sponsors of the event. Now, looking at the participant makeup, we can see that many of you um, are working in academia, mostly at the PhD and postdoc level. We also have some master students and undergrads joining us, as well as researchers, some of which work in industry. Regarding your experience, we can see that most of you already have at least a basic or medium understanding of Python, which will definitely come in handy during the hands-on sessions. Uh, regarding your experience with AIDA, it seems that most of you are still very new to uh, the software, which of course, what we like to see as we organize these tutorials to introduce new users to AIDA. As for the nationalities, we can see that we have a strong Indian delegation, but in general, we have participants coming from all over the world. And that's of course one of the advantages of being able to organize um, this tutorial in a virtual format, because we can present our software to a very broad audience. Of course, one of the challenges is that having such a broad audience, we also have participants from all over the world in different time zones. And even though most of you are working in our time zone, the Central European time, many of you are not. And so in order to accommodate for this, we've organized two different groups, each of which with their own um, program schedule. So here you can see an overview of a schedule for each of the groups, group A and group B, with presentations, which are mandatory to view, optional time slots where you can watch the plugin developer talks, so those hands-ons and some time for breaks. Note that next to each of the um, uh, presentations and hands-ons, there are certain reference to the completely new and revamped IDEA documentation that may be useful as you're working your way through the material. So currently we have two different types of content for the tutorial. On the one hand, you have pre-recorded talks which are published on YouTube. And here we have to make a distinction between two different types of presentations. Some of the presentations are required for the hands-ons. These are indicated in red in the schedule. So be sure to watch these before each hands-on session so you already have the required information for that hands-on session. Next to these presentations, there are also the contributed plugin developer talks. Now these can be watched at any time, uh, which is most convenient for you. However, we do recommend that you watch them before Friday as we have a Q&A session planned with the developers on Friday. For the hands-on sessions, these are planned as scheduled Zoom meetings where we all start off in the main Zoom room. And for the first hands-on session of the day, we have planned a Q&A session where you can ask questions to the presenters of uh, the presentations that you have to watch for that day. Next, the chair of that hands-on session will take over and then we'll introduce the topic of the hands-on session briefly. Once the topic has been introduced, we'll split you up into different groups of five or six participants and then make breakout rooms where you can work together through the material of the tutorial. Of course, if at any time you have issues or questions, you can indicate that you do so and then one of the tutors or the chair will come into the breakout room and help you out. In case some of the questions are more general, we'll also be dealing with them uh, in the main Zoom room at some point. Note, of course, this virtual tutorial format is very new to us organizers as well. So please be patient and understanding and let us know if you have any issues. Of course, if at some point we notice that the virtual format isn't working out well, we can change it for the next hands-on sessions. Looking a bit clo more closely at the schedule, you can see that, of course, we have here the marked presentations, which are the presentations that you have to watch for the corresponding hands-on sessions of that day. We've also provided an optional time slot where you can lo look at the plugin developer talks. Of course, if there's another time where you'd like to do so, please feel free. For the hands-on sessions, each day starts with a Q&A session for the, hand for the presentation that you have to watch for that day. We'll start by setting up the machines in the first hands-on session, which is on some basics of AIDA. The next session is about running computations in AIDA. For the second day, we'll start with working on the data and then querying your results. 
And then we have two sessions planned on workflows and writing your own workflows. The sixth session is about interfacing external codes and writing your plugins. And on the final day, we first have planned a session after the Q&A session with the plugin developers, where we'll help you install and manage the IDE installation on your own machine so you can run the calculations on your own supercomputer. And finally, we'll finish with the last session with some closing remarks and feedback that you can provide, as well as a Q&A session and wrap-up discussion of the event. Note that, of course, for the hands-on sessions, these do start at specific times. So be sure to check at which time each hands-on session starts for your group and time zone. Now for some practical information, we'll be using Amazon Web Services for the virtual machines which you will use to run the hands-on sessions. And you will receive the login instructions for these virtual machines at the latest by Monday at 1800 GMT. Note that the Quantum Mobile virtual machine can also be installed on your own computer, but we recommend that you use Amazon Web Services as we have thoroughly tested the material on these machines. For the Zoom rooms, we'll be providing two links, one for the group A and one for group B. And we'll be using passwords, of course, to protect these rooms in order that we don't get Zoom bombed. These details will also be provided by email. Same to the link to the Toro material, which you can see here, so you can access the, the material quickly by Monday. Finally, here's a list of all the people who have, whose hard work have made this tutorial possible. There's on the one hand, the organizing committee, including myself, Chris, and Giovanni. The tutors, which will, uh, is, is a core team of uh, developers from AIDA that will help us work your way through the tutorial material. Of course, we'd also like to thank the plugin developers for their contributed talks to the tutorial. And finally, the support team, including Marco for the technical support, Simon, who has done a lot of work on the IDA documentation, and Cornelia, who provided us the admin support. Of course, this event would not be possible um, without the financial support of our sponsors, and so I'd also like to thank them. And finally, here's an overview of all of the developers of AIDA in Switzerland, Europe, and of course, also the contributors within Europe and other parts of the world. And finally, thank you for your attention. Good luck with the tutorials, and I'll see you in one of the hands-on sessions.